In this video, I'd like to give you a bird's eye overview of MailCoach. MailCoach is both a standalone application and a premium Laravel package to send email campaigns. To send out the actual mails, MailCoach uses one of the big email service providers such as Amazon SAS, SendGrid or MailGun. You're now looking at the login screen of the standalone application, which I'll use to demonstrate the most important features of MailCoach. Let's log in. MailCoach is a simple application to use. We have campaigns, we have lists, and we have templates. But before heading into those, I'd like to show you a little bit of configuration first. I've said that MailCoach uses one of the big email service providers to send out mail. And before starting with MailCoach, you should configure a mail driver. And I've already done that here. For this demo, I'm going to use Amazon SAS. To verify if your configuration is correct, you can send a test email. Let's do that now. And with a bit of luck, the email is already in my email application. And here is the test email that proves that our configuration is correct. Let's head back to MailCoach. What I'd like to explain next are the email lists. A list can be given a name. I've called this one my audience. And it contains a collection of email addresses, your subscribers. I've already added 10 test email addresses to this list. Let's take a look at the settings of a list. You can give a list a name. You can specify which email address should be used for each campaign that will be sent to this list. We can also generate an RSS feed with each campaign that is sent to this list. We can send you a couple of interesting reports. For instance, a weekly summary on the subscriber growth of this list. When scrolling down, you'll see this require confirmation option, which is in my opinion, one of the most important options on the list. We enable it by default. You might know this option as double opt-in. When this option is active and a person tries to subscribe to your list, we will send a confirmation mail first. That confirmation mail will contain a link to confirm the subscription. By enabling this option, you are certain that each email address on your list is correct. There are some more options on a list. I'm not going to go into details about these options now. If you want to learn more about them, go watch the dedicated video on email lists. Now let's head to templates. A template is just a piece of HTML that you can use as a starting point for creating a campaign. For each template, you should specify a name and some HTML. Now that you know what a template is, let's create a campaign. If I hit this button, I can create a campaign and give it a name. I'm going to call it my first campaign. And I'm going to use the MailCoach template as a starting point. On the settings screen of a campaign, you can specify a subject. And you can also specify to which list this campaign should be sent. You can send it to an entire list or you can use a segment. If you want to know more about segments, go watch the dedicated video on segments. MailCoach can also track when somebody opens an email and when links are clicked in an email. Let's head to the content tab. Here you can specify the message that should be sent to your subscribers. I've picked a template to start with and its HTML has been used in the body field here. I can use this preview link to preview the message and everything looks okay. When scrolling down, you can see that there are some placeholders that can be used. We recommend to always add an unsubscribe URL placeholders so that your subscribers have an option to unsubscribe. If there is no way to unsubscribe from a list, you'll probably get a lot of spam reports and complaints. So always add the unsubscribe URL. Let's head to the last step and that is delivery. 
Here you can see a summary of the campaign you are about to send. And before sending it out, you can send a test to your own email address first. Let's try that now. If I head to my email program, that test should have arrived. And sure enough, here it is. This looks good to me, so I think we can send it to every subscriber of our list. Here you have the option to send it immediately, or you can schedule this campaign to be delivered in the future. We are going to send it immediately. And of course, we also have a confirmation screen so you don't accidentally send out a campaign. And after clicking this link, MailCoach will send out the campaign to all subscribers of your list. Let's take a look at my email program to see if we actually have those mails, if those mails were sent. And sure enough, I have a email for each subscriber on my list. So let's open up the first one here. This one was sent to fake plus test eight. If I open up the second one, this one was sent at fake plus test 10. And if I head back to mail coach, those two opens should have registered. If I click the open step, I can see that test 10 and test eight have opened that mail. MailCoach can also track which links are clicked in emails. Let's try clicking a link. I'm going to click the MailCoach link here. And when I head back and open the click tab, then I can see that there was one click on the MailCoach link. Of course, we can also handle unsubscribes. So if I head back to my email program and unsubscribe fake plus test 10, and we'll see this confirmation page. And when heading back to MailCoach, that unsubscribe should be registered. And if I go to my list, then I only have not 10, but nine active members. I can see that there are nine subscribers here and there's one person that unsubscribed. MailCoach will also handle bounces. And if an email bounces, that subscriber will automatically be unsubscribed so your list remains healthy. You now should have a good understanding of what MailCoach can do for you. In the next video, we are going to see how we can install MailCoach. See you there.